Vikes, I'm Erin and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Thanks, Haley. Now, on to your daily announcements. The Writing Center is looking for more members to join the team. If you are interested in this job, there is an application posted on Schoology. Email Miss Sands with any questions. Due to school closure, social gatherings in school parking lots or school grounds are not welcome. Please stay home. Seniors who wish to speak at graduation, there is an application that is due next Friday. Now, let's go check out what our teachers have been up to. With quarantine happening right now, let's go see what one of the teachers has been doing over this time. So over quarantine, I've been trying to learn how to use my mother's old sewing machine that she gave to me a while ago. I've been spending a lot of time reading and hanging out with my dogs, and I've also been writing a little bit. I think some days go better than others, and I think that's probably true for a lot of people. It really helps to have a schedule that I stick to and to make sure that I'm taking care of my, like, mental health needs and getting outside every time that I can. I think that the coronavirus for me was very unexpected because I wasn't really staying up on it. Like it was going to be a pandemic threat. But other than that, I think that like I, every thought that I have just comes from the CDC, the World Health Organization. Just I would encourage everybody to go to really reputable sources. When the quarantine is lifted, I'm really excited to get back to thrift shopping and seeing my family and friends. I know that every teacher out there really misses our students. You all are the best part of the job. Sounds like they're staying busy. Now, over to Zoe with the weather after this quick commercial break. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher, and I used to not be able to do parkour. You see, I got so tired because I had a lack of vitamins. But with the help of salad, I've got all the vitamins I need. I can just nozzle this stuff down. Mmm, delish. And now I have all the vitamins to do all this great parkour. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. As you can see, it is quite a sunny and nice day outside, so make sure you go outside and enjoy it because tomorrow we are expecting a little bit of rain. We'll talk more about that in one minute. As you can see, for the rest of this week, our temperatures are going to be reaching back up into the 70s and evening back out into the 60s for a little bit longer. Wednesday early morning we are seeing a little bit of precipitation in the area and this isn't going to be so much that you need to worry but just enough to be on the lookout for and plan around. For your SVTV 7 day forecast, like I said we are going to reach up into the 70s with our highest temperature being 78 and then reach back down into the 60s for a little bit longer until next week. Now back to your anchor. Thanks Zoe. That's all for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.